think that this episode is going to be an insane episode leading to the climax of this current arc where Gabiru is the biggest idiot, but I still love him because we know that he gets redemption later. And the idiots, they're lovable idiots, right? They may be idiots, but there are idiots. Laplace, though, was actually infiltrating Gabiru's group the entire time. These cloud mass dudes, like... They're super endgame territory, right? Because at the end of season two, I vaguely remember Laplace doing some crazy shit. And when I watched that for the first time, I was like, what? This guy's actually that important? And he's basically just role-playing right now, just smurfing with Gabiru's group? I don't even know, man. I think right now we're basically about to go to the swamp so that we can fix all the problems that Gabiru's made and defeat the Orc Lord. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> The crazy thing about the signing the treaty and extending help is the fact that Gabiru was sent to the great forest of Jura to beg Rimuru for help. But what did he do? He fucking attacked them. He lost, and then Rimuru was like, we'll still help you. Isn't that insane? He truly is lucky. Maybe Gabiru has the luck from Kazuma from Konosuba, you know? That's why he's just able to get away with this shit. I think we just got uh, identified as the Goblin Riders, right? Gopta is now the leader of the go uh, Goblin Riders. Yo, that's Gabiru's sister! No! CGI, CGI armor, CGI armor. <laughs> nah, I'd win. So it would win so easy! This is honestly overkill. Do we even need everyone else here? Goblin Riders, let's go! Dude, everyone else of the Goblin Rider pack is just wearing like random fucking cloth. And then Gabiru has a fucking... Sorry, Gopta has a fucking general outfit. Technically, we did get promised that, right, after beating Gabiru, Gopta would get some like, you know, gear from Kaijin and crew, right? But look at this shit. He looks like a fucking Shogun. Alright, what's up, Orc Lords? Soei basically cleared already, okay. <laughs> Gabiru's sister! <laughs> this is all because of Gabiru, dude. But it's okay, we have like 99.9% .9 refined potion. <laughs> People that like lizards are not called furries. They're called scalies, if you don't know. They don't have fur suits. <laughs> They have scale suits. Hey, yeah! Oh, Jesus! Oh, we're here to do that, don't worry. Big sister, probably, right? What an idiot, dude. What an absolute idiot. That's right, Majin. Not Mao. This is Majin Gelmute? Yo, Shion looks way too fucking big there. What? Basically, simp for Rimuru, and everyone will accept you. This is like a 100 girlfriends effect, where if you just like rent out and you simp for him, all the other girls support you. Did we didn't. Wait, why is, she, why, why, why is she saying yes for us, though? She's supposed to be our fucking secretary. She's supposed to fucking help her out, help us out. All she's doing is signing us more work. What the fuck? I don't remember how the Orc Lords get defeated, though. They have no choice. They have to. Shadow movement is so busted, dude. I wonder what the range of shadow movement is, though. I don't think Shadow Movement really gets used later in the Season 2 though, right? That's why I was so surprised when, like, Gopta used Shadow Movement to defeat Gabiru. I'm like, whoa, yeah, this is a thing. Alright. CGI Orcs versus CGI Lizards. Let's go. Remember, Gabiru got his, like, legendary weapon now. I forget what it's called. Is it called a Vortex Ripper or some shit? They replayed that scene! Watch! This is the exact same fucking sequence that I pointed out last episode about how it's bullshit about how he just strikes the back of the armor rather than going for the armpits the next where the openings are. Look at this. What do you mean? You just hit the back of the armor! This is the weakest fucking orc ever, dude. 
Yeah, this this scene is literally copy pasted from last episode. Oh. Bro, they're just eating through the armor. CGI lizards! Oh. Yo, that's crazy. You're eating it from... <sighs> Who has to eat the dick, dude? Like, how... Then again, I'm not sure what the lizard's anatomy is, right? They're not the same. They don't just have a fucking dong just hanging out there, right? So maybe it's different, but goddamn. They just fucking start eating from the ass up? Oh. So much CGI from all sides. Because they eat and then they get faster. Web feed and scales of an orc. So when they consume you, they actually like inherit your property. So like obviously scales and web feed are lizardman stuff. Oh, I didn't even remember that. Okay. They're just better than you now. So they're faster because of the web feed. I see, I see, I see. Wait, they're not too different from Rimuru, you know? I think people do hate Gabiru as first time watching. Absolutely, I hated him. But he has an entire redemption arc. Okay, I mean, they're kind of protecting the goblins here. Rimuru. Benimaru. Who's gonna show up? Gopta! Somebody! That pride is your downfall, idiot! Oh? What's oh, a thick ass boy? You can tell he's the orc lord because his armor is different. Geld, right? Oh shit! 1v1 duel? <laughs> Geld versus Gamiru? <laughs> Spinning your spear ain't gonna do shit, bro! That's nothing. Oh, he's not the Lord? Oh. Oh, I thought that was Gil because his armor's different. Never mind. Oh, shit. Never mind. Far inferior to the Orc Lord. Gabiru, you got the fucking Vortex Spear. Come on, bro. You got a pay to win weapon. Uh oh. <laughs> Bro's done. Bro is done. Gopta needs to come in and save him. Laplace again! Isn't this crazy? He's calling in Gelmude Sama, but you know that Laplace in the greater grand scheme of things is more important than Gelmude, right? So like, Laplace is literally playing dumb and like being subservient to Gelmude for what? What is he doing? I don't get it! <laughs> Dominion over the forest. Oh. Training, training, training. Wait, does she fight? Wait, can the Dryad fight? I don't remember this. I'm just. Re <laughs> so, because she kind of has like ownership over the forest, right? Is she basically just like a moderator? Can she just ban? Is it the same thing as me just banning people on chat? Can she just fucking just- I- I- I'm just gonna end you. You're gone. Silphid! Oh. Oh, oh, let me- let me- let me see Silphid there again. Hello? The light's a little bit too bright, but I see it. She got the curls too! Aerial braid! Damn! You know whenever a technique is used and then they show the actual Japanese letter, you know, of the name technique? It's actually an important skill. Okay, we got Aerial Blade here. Damn, Laplace's arm got cut? It doesn't matter though, he can probably attach it back. Smoke Bomb! Smell you later! <laughs> Typical fucking free tactic from High School DxD. All right, that was a cool scene from Trainee. I didn't remember Trainee being this hard though, okay. All right, Gabiru versus Orc General. Come on, man. Oh, oh. Okay. I mean, look, look. I just talked about how if they ever use the name technique in the Japanese subtitle show, it's like an important move. Look, the Vortex Crush. Kinda cringe, but looks kinda cool. Right, look, look. Respectable, absolutely. 
That was not a name technique from the orc general, though. Easy. Oh, this is, though. I remember Guild using this in season two, though. Dude, this unnamed orc general is defeating the prince of the lizardmen right now. His pride is gonna be his downfall, dude. I do love the chance. <laughs> no, Gamiru! Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, decisive blow! Oh! That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool, but... You know. That's racist. <laughs> oh! The man that defeated him before! The true leader of that village! Did God Ted takes out the fucking orc general? Straight up? I don't remember this! A little racist again, low key. Giga Chat Gata with this new weapon! The true leader of the village. <laughs> the true leader there! Gupta still is like, what the fuck is this guy on about? Captain of the Goblin Riders, that's right. Ranga and Gupta alone can handle these guys, yeah? Yeah, it's the, use, it's the skill we use to beat you. Benny Maru or this is Black Flame, right? No, this isn't Benny. This is Rimuru, right? Is it Hell Flame? Hey, that's Benny. Is, is that Benny? <laughs> the great magic of lizard men, my fucking ass. Dude, what the lizard men do? They just fucking got the shitty ass spears. I think that's all Benny, right? You gotta beat Gopta first. Oh, you remember his name! <laughs> Look at this, the general commanding him. Multiple fucking explosions. Just again, it's just spamming I am atomic everywhere. Like, only Benny Manu needs to come. I forget exactly how strong Benny actually is. What the fuck? Like, 200,000 CGI orcs, right? Roughly about 190,000 of them have just been cleared out by Benny there. Oh, the ogres! Look! Yo, she looking crazy with her fucking buster sword too. Look at this. Look at the squad up. And Zoe's not even here yet. The Kijin. Oh, you guys got a glow up. Come on. No, we're Kijins now. Holy shit, dude. She on sword. Okay, that's kind of racist too. <laughs> Lizard should fucking crawl on the ground. Get the fuck out of my face, pigs. Yo, everybody's so racist. I know they're pigs, but still, they're orcs, you know? <laughs> it's pretty much a slur. <laughs> the Shion wearer bra? I don't think so. And when did Rimuru have fucking wings? Is it just... So how does this work? Did he consume something that allows him the wings from the cave? Did he always have wings like this? Is he just creating with slime? I forget. Also, he has his new sword now, and yeah, everybody just pretty much got their new drip. Bat wings from the cave? Okay, yeah. Goblins and dogs. Racist, we're dire wolves. Oh. Ranga my solo, dude. Ranga straight up my solo. Can he use black lightning himself? Maybe he can? Or this is like a tornado attack. What's he doing? Multiple tornadoes from Ranga. Like, we didn't need everyone here, dude. We're too OP. <laughs> okay. Ranga's wide range attack, Death Storm. Okay, this is new. All right. The Orc General's defeated just like that. Dude. 
Gabiru couldn't even do anything. Sorry, Gopta couldn't even fucking fight yet. Did he just evolve again? He just evolved again, right? Tempest Wolf to Tempest Star Wolf from using that skill. So he has like a star mark on his, you know, his head now. Okay, okay. Straight up, they just called us dogs, man. Yeah, we got a second horn too. And Benny's still doing his shit. Yo, where's the Orc Lord? Hakuro. That's the coolest shit, dude. Hakuro didn't even fucking look like he was fucking swinging his sword. That's the coolest shit about being an anime swordsman, right? Because you never have the blade leaving the sheath. You just basically run and there's cutting effects everywhere. And everyone just gets sliced up. I love Hakuro like this. <laughs> oh, and yeah, yeah, the instant, like, um, after you do that, right, you make this pose, and then it's just, like, blood splurts everywhere, right? This is another classic cliche for anime swordsmen. Boom! Shion didn't get a chance to pop off yet. Oh, here we go! What does she use? Just swing? God damn! So just no name technique required. She just fucking swings down. Damn, this is really the first time. This is a Getsuka Tensho, yeah? You're right. Just one swing, dude. Oh my god. God damn, dude. God damn. The Gyat was kind of small, but, you know, it makes up for here. Rimuru just like, uh oh, oh, everyone's so strong. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at Benny still spam this. Five Kijin versus 200,000 people. And the fucking old uncle, you know, okay. The, 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 the last Kijin, right? The last Kijin, the, the middle-aged uncle dude. Yeah, he's not a fighter, right? He's supposed to be, you know, helping out Kaijin and stuff. But does he even have powers? Do we ever see him fight? I don't think so. So he's doing spy work or... Oh yeah, Shuna's not out here either, but Shuna has a cool scene in season two. Like Kurobe straight up doesn't do it. <laughs> Kabiru's sister. <laughs> She's actually kind of funny. But yeah, Shuna actually has a cool moment in season two. I remember, right? In season two, there's like one episode where it's only she can do some kind of spiritual attacks or some shit, but Kurobe like... What the fuck does he do? Yeah, the king needs to fucking smack Gabiru in the head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Of course. They're already here. Everybody's been cleared out, don't worry. The other side is about to give up. <laughs> oh? Random, random pig. John Smith! And just slice. The dad can also make the same face as a daughter. <laughs> well, Gabiru also makes that face too. It's the best decision you've ever made. Absolutely. Ding! Yo. Oh. Just tighten the tension by going like this. Oh. <laughs> now, before the daughter was doing that face, but now we got the father and the cane doing it. And then the daughter's like, Really? Everybody popped off, man. The Kijin's hard carry this arc, huh? You gale me fucking in shambles. Why would you do that? That is the dumbest shit you can do. <laughs> Why would you destroy your own fucking important item that lets you see through things? <laughs> Just because you got mad. That's right. Ranga, that's someone that you call the dog, by the way. Just straight up wiped everyone out. Who takes out Gelmude? Okay, so he tries to escape. Maybe Rimuru catches him? I'll be killed by him. Clayman? This is Clayman's uh, mansion, right? I, I remember this because they always show Clayman's place to be just like in a spooky, like Dracula castle beyond the moon behind those gates, right? This is Clayman. Yeah, we get to finally see him. Does he wear a mask in the beginning, actually? No, he doesn't. Yeah, there he is. Orc Lord? Uh, I don't... Where the fuck is Guild? Is this Guild? I don't know. 
It is. Okay, okay. Eat my ass. Next episode, right? We're gonna do like a 1v1 clash. And that's the episode. Hey, hey, meet him. And that's the episode. I forget exactly how, how, how hype this one was. All the Kijins going crazy. Gopta saving Gaviru here. This might be the most hype shit. Training was really cool too, but dude, Gopta showing up at the end when Gabiru was putting everything on the line to protect his followers, which is kind of sweet, right? Like everyone else could have tried to help, but they might have died. So go like Gabiru does care a lot for his men, right? But when everything seemed really dire, who shows up at the end, bro? The fucking true leader of the village. God appears with this new crafted weapon, with this new gear, the leader, the captain of the Goblin Riders. Holy shit. Next episode's really peak too? Oh shit, okay, okay. Then I'm excited for next episode too. But goddamn, the Kijin's super hard carry. It's pretty much just Benny just, like in terms of kill death ratio, it's Benny, right? Benny was spamming the shit out of that hell flame everywhere. Like, multi- I don't even know how many he spammed. Like, straight up, of the 200,000 Oros, he probably wiped out at least like 180,000, right? Benny's too fucking broken, man. So he's really cool, too. Ranga got his little cool, you know, evolution. You know, he's like a, a Tempest Star Wolf now. What does that really mean? I don't know. He just has a star on his head. He's got a second horn. It's pretty cool, right? It's really cool. But that's the episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other plays for even more content. And until next time, take care.